It's the thing about sin. It blinded me so much. that I didn't even realize that I was even upset at God for what happened. Like I, I partied so much through those years. I literally was just lost, you know, and then God brought me back. And as he says, I'll bring light to your darkness. He started revealing the things that I needed to change and needed to fix and needed to work on. But he says, it's just as simple as you draw near to me, Benjamin, I'll draw near to you. Because it's amazing how things, so many things, oh, I got to do this and do all that. But he, he brings it back down to saying, draw near to me, draw near to me. You know, and then through that learning prayer life and reading his word, learning how to pray, learning what to pray for or, or how to pray. And he, and he guides us through that in the, in the word. It's just amazing. You know, but it just literally, I felt the chains yeah. fall off. Yeah. You know, I felt the weight of all that unforgiveness, all that hurt. Mm -hmm. You know, because, you know, the addictions are like icing on the cake. They say, you know, God really got down to, to the root of my, my, my heart and just changed it. It's awesome. It is awesome. <laughs> it's an amazing journey. And then what you're now able to pass on because of how your life has changed, what would you say, uh, as people read this book, what would you like them to, to really get out of it? Well, I, I really would love, you know, the first chapter, uh, it talks about uh, knowing the truth, being prepared for the truth. And God talks about girding ourselves with the truth. It's of the foundation of what we, what we believe. And people go say, oh, well, it's relative. Whatever you believe is truth. And, you know, in, in life, it, it's not so. You know, there's one truth, and Jesus says that. And just don't take my word for it. Go find it in the Word and seek it. Not even in the Bible. There's, there's going to be a lot of other things that are going to really point you. And what I've came through my study is that you literally just have to say no and walk away from it. But that truth... What, what, what Jesus talks to, his first tem the temptation in, in, in Matthew 4, mm -hmm. the devil says, if you are the Son of Man. And the devil will always come to us, and even our own opinions will always like, if it is the Word of God. But Jesus said, it is written. And I think that is so vitally important. We have to have faith to believe that it is written and have faith to believe that God said He's going to do what He's going to do, no matter our circumstances, no matter what kind of battle we're going to face. You know, if we keep Jesus first, we're going to win the war.